welcome to contingency orders with QST. Here is a screen that will show you the available contingency orders based on the contingent orders package that you have with your subscription. There is contingent and advanced contingent order types. You can see the contingent order types available and the advanced contingent order types available in each package. The package would be split uh, depending on your subscription. So you can see Platinum Plus has every contingent order type. All the advanced contingent orders plus the contingent order types, and all the below subscriptions have just regular contingent orders. Within QST, I'll show you some basics on contingencies and creating a custom ones. If you hit F5 key, you get to the order entry properties, go to contingent order tabs, and enable server side and client side contingent orders. We'll place an order here. You can see I'm working on a five lot buy. I can right click on the order, go to contingency, and here you see the list of all the contingent order types that we select. We will attach a stop loss exit. We'll switch to a stop limit, set the number of ticks you want away. You can see you can change it to points, percent, or money, and now you can see I'm working on my stop loss. And it's contingent on my initial entry order being filled. Now we're attach a profitable exit. We want to attach a profitable exit after we make $125. You can see it's there, it's an empty circle. That means it's unplaced because your initial entry order for file out by is not yet filled. So that profitable exit can't get filled without the first order being filled to open up your position. Orders and positions monitor. You can see the list of fills and positions. You can right click on a position, go to the net position, then go to contingency, and you can see contingency orders that you can place on the existing position. Here's a timed exit. Good for placing a timed exit order on the close of a market or whatnot. You can just specify the time for the order to be entered and get you out of your position if it's filled. And you can see that it is unplaced. It's going to be placed at the time specified. Here at the top of the price ladder, you can right click on your position box, go to the net position, go to contingency, and again, enter whatever contingency you would like. You're not putting a profitable exit there. Go ahead and cancel that. Go ahead and do an OCO order, and I'm going to show you how to synthesize an OCO. I'm going to go ahead and make a position. So long five minis. Now we're going to go ahead and manually put in a buy stop. See the orders in the order position monitor. Click on the first order, hold down the control key, hit the second order, right click on the, one of the highlighted orders, go to all selected orders, contingency, and click synthesize OCO. Now they are both an OCO order, and when one fills, the other will cancel. Clean up the screen and I'll show you something else here. You can see the icon on the top right of your screen. It's like a manila folder with a red and blue triangle. That's your contingent orders templates. We're going to go ahead and open that and then click, click Create New. And here you see the list of templates you could use for contingent orders. We'll go ahead and do one for example. We'll do an OCO stop loss with profitable exit, otherwise known as a bracket order. Kind of like just what we just put in when we synthesize the OCO. Go ahead and set your parameters for your stop loss and your profitable exit. 
now set an icon for it that's going to go on your toolbar up on the top right of your screen. We'll use this one. Click OK. You can see at the top right of your screen, you have an icon for this bracket alert now that you just created. Turn it on. You click on it. It'll go bold. Now every time you place an order, it's going to automatically put a bracket contingency on it. There you can see both orders that automatically went in when I put in my entry order to work. Off to the right, you can see on the order position screen, all the orders that are working. You have your bracket, your initial order. Make sure at the top right of your screen, that bracket order is disabled by clicking on it so it's not highlighted to get rid of it. That is the basics of contingency orders in QSD. Thanks for watching.